All right. Uh, we're doing Genesis. And if you want to check out, uh, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm doing a Genesis journey. I'm starting from Genesis from the beginning all the way to the end. And what I'm doing is, because I know nothing about them other than some of their later hits in the 90s, like, of course, Land of Confusion. I guess it was 80s. Uh, Invisible Touch. Those type of songs I know a little bit because they were quite big when I was a teenager. But I don't know any of their early stuff. If you want to check out, I did their first album, Genesis to Revelation. I, on one video, did the first, th well, the three singles from that album. And I'm telling you right now, I was blown away by, like, who are, who is this band? But I was grinning ear to ear because their sound was nothing like I thought it would be. This is their only single that they released, according to Wikipedia. Don't at me. Well, if you want to at me, that's fine. But this is the only single release from Trespass, their second album that I'm aware of. Uh, so I'm putting this one uh, on the YouTubes for everyone to watch. What I'm going to do... So if you want to see my reaction to their first three singles, it's on Patreon. Come t come join Patreon and take a look. Uh, if... Yeah, so here we go. The Knife is what I'm getting. The Knife is their first and only single from the album Trespass, released in 1970, 50 years ago. That's insane. So I'm going to do the studio version of the song, and then I'm going to flip the do to the live performance right after. So if you don't want to see me react or listen to the studio version of The Knife, then kind of just skip through the video. That's fine. I won't be offended. And uh, take a look at the uh, live version of the video. And the video, this is just me picking links. So if I pick the wrong video, and it's not the one that people like, I'm sorry. Um, but the one that I did pick without watching it, I have not heard the song and I have not listened to the song, but it's this one here. Genesis, The Knife Live in Back... Bataclan? Bataclan? Uh, anyways, and my understanding is at this live performance, Phil Collins is on the drum, but the studio recording, he is not in the band yet. So I'm kind of interested to hear the studio version, and then we're going to roll right into the live performance right after. Here we go. Trespass is the album. The song is The Knife, the only single, according to Wikipedia, released from this album. Love it. to begin, tell me that I'm a hero, promise me all of your violent dreams, light up your body with anger, now, in the sunny world, it's time to destroy all this evil, now, will I give a word, get ready to fight for your freedom, now, stand up and fight, for you know we are right, we must strike at the lies that are spread like disease to our Alright, it sounds way different than their first songs. Sounds way different than their first singles. I love it though. You must kill all, must die with their children Carry the heads to the palace of old Hang them high with the blood flow Now in the sunny world Break all the chains around us Now the crusade has begun Give us a land to the heroes Now This is so weird, it's the same guy that sang Sledgehammer Stand up and fight For you know we are right We must strike at the lies That have spread like disease to our minds
It's like if Deep Purple met Simon and Garfunkel. Sounds like we're trespassing, or we don't belong. How old is Peter Gabriel now? This is 50 years ago. Was he 12 when he did this song? <laughs> Jasper Tall will not be the only one that plays a flute. No idea they sounded like this. This is crazy.
shnikes. Oops. Holy shnikes. That was awesome. Like, seriously. That was like a journey. Hey, speaking of journey, I should really write... No. Um, no, I, I'm going to roll right into the live coverage, but I just want to get out what I just heard in the studio version here of the Song of the Knife. One, I'm looking forward to seeing Phil Collins do the drum work on this song. No offense to the guy who was doing the drums. did a great job, but, I, you know, it's Phil Collins. I know who the guy is, right? Uh, Peter Gabriel, too. I had no idea this guy could... Uh... Okay, this... A lot of thoughts are going through my head. I've been doing some Pink Floyd reactions recently, and I've been really enjoying Pink Floyd, but... What I like about this is this kind of, you know, like it's got that pounding rock, you know? It's got like it's got the drums, the guitar solos, and it's all over the place. And it's like a journey, and it's fan, you know, fantasy-like. And we, I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea what's going on with the stories about nothing. Is it a concept album? Sure, that's fine. Um, but I'm legitimately surprised how much Genesis, well, in this album, it's like, I don't even know what I listened to in the first. Again, if you want to hear my first three, uh, my the first three singles, I did a, one video with those on my Patreon, and they were fun. They were fun. They were like uh, very, uh, I don't know, folksy rock, you know, Simon Garfunkel type of stuff. And I, I actually had a great time listening. But this was like a rocker. This one like kicked you in the teeth. I know. I, I the only Genesis I know is Land of Confusion, which is a great man. It's a great song. That's just a great song. And uh, of course, I know uh, Invisible Touch and We Can't Dance. Or is Invisible Touch? Now I don't even know if that's Phil Collins or not. <sighs> Anyways, the point is, I, I know them I know them peripherally. But I'm really enjoying my, my Genesis journey because I, I'm actually legitimately surprised at how much they rock. Do, do, do the rest of the world know that this is what they sound like? I mean, at least in these albums? Okay, so let's uh, close iTunes and we're going to go to the live performance of the song, which is weird. It's a little bit shorter. It's like three minutes shorter than the studio version. But let's check it out. And uh, boy, they're going to be young. So this is 47 years ago. What are they saying there? Pizza? Pizza? Wow, so young. Is that Phil Collins there? Beard and hair? This is wild. I'm glad I got to listen to the studio version first now. It's just kind of cool to see how they're going to pull it off here. Did I get the right song? I just want to make sure. Yeah, the knife. Okay. Oh, I think they start in the middle of the song almost. Is it Phil singing? It is. He's holding the mic with this. Oh. This is oh, this is hilarious. shorts.
obviously wearing white makeup. I love it. So cool. See a young Phil Collins. It's so cool to see him on drums. Yeah. Okay, I am excited to do my Genesis journey. I hope you guys are excited to go with me. This is incredible. Um, yeah, so I am going to go in album. So don't at me with performances. Okay, I'll tell you what. In your comments below, you can tell me where the live, the best live version of their singles are going to are, are. Okay, because I am going to go in order of uh, singles. So for example, like I said here, this is the only single from this album, "The Knife." The next album is called Nursery Crime, and they have one single here called Happy the Man and Seven Stones. So that will be my next one. So if you want to tell me, or in the comments below, link to me the best live performance of that song. Or earlier the better, you know, but whatever. Uh, it was really cool. So back to the video. It was so cool to see Phil Collins. I mean, I love Phil. Like, I know the solo artist Phil Collins pretty well. Like... All of it's great. Like if you put on his greatest his package, I know it and I really enjoy Phil Collins. But it's so cool to see him drumming away like that and just killing it on the drums, blowing the whistle, doing a bit of background vocals at the beginning. And Peter Gabriel, I had no idea. It's like he's doing like some sort of weird impersonation of a zombie in Ozzy Osbourne before Ozzy was Ozzy almost. This is nineteen seventy. You know, and he's wearing like white makeup and grey hair and I loved it. I love that he's got a, a crazy personality on stage because if I think of Peter, Peter Gabriel, of course I think of you know Sledgehammer, the song, that, that was him, right? And a little bit more, like, I almost buttoned down, wearing a suit type personality. I, I don't know, in his later years. But I, it's just so cool to see them at the start of their careers being so crazy and original and different. So I genuinely enjoy this. So there you go. Um, yeah, join my Patreon if you want to see the other Genesis video that I did. Or give me a request uh, that would be guaranteed to be played. But I am looking forward to uh, doing some Genesis in the future here. I'm going to do a little bit more of them. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.